This is Ali. Today, Ali wants to produce cellular lightweight concrete. He puts the Sumo foam generator into operation to do this. In a minute, he'll give you the details of precisely how this functions. First, we'll take a look at the Sumo's key components. It's made up of a compressor, a water pump, a hose for water, an air control valve, a proportional dosage system, a suction hose for the foaming agent, the control panel, a hose for the foam dosage, and an injection lance for the mixer. In addition, Ali needs a foaming agent, water in the IBC container, and a mixer or truck mixer for adding the foam to the concrete. First, Ali hooks up the water hose to the water pump and connects them to the water container. He opens the bleed valve to let the air out of the pump. The valve stays open until water begins to flow. Then Ali closes the valve. In the next step, the suction hose is placed in the foaming agent. Now Ali connects the hose for the foam dosage and inserts the power plug into a 380 volt, 32 ampere socket. To get the Sumo started, he switches on the control panel and then presses the F1 button. He has to wait a few seconds until the water is sucked in and foam is produced. To ensure a high-grade foam quality, the next thing Ali has to do is to determine the foam weight. It should lie between 80 and 110 grams per liter. Ali gets a 10-liter container and a scale ready to check this. Now the container is filled with foam and the weight is determined. If the foam weight is too low or too high, Ali can regulate this with the air control valve. When the weight is too high, he increases the air supply by turning the valve in a counterclockwise direction. When the weight is too low, however, the valve is turned in a clockwise direction. Ali keeps doing this until the desired weight has been set. Since foam dosing takes place using a timer, Ali also has to know how much foam is produced per second to be able to make a precisely targeted setting later on. To measure this, he needs a container with a capacity of at least 100 liters and a stopwatch. Now he measures the time until the 100 liter vat is filled with foam. In Ali's case, this is 100 liters in 10 seconds, which means 10 liters per second. To set the right quantity of foam on the control panel, Ali looks at the concrete mix design. He wants to produce cellular lightweight concrete with a dry bulk density of 400 kilograms per cubic meter. 800 liters of foam volume are needed to achieve this. Since he has already determined the foam output quantity, he can simply calculate the rest. He knows that he has to set the Sumo to 80 seconds per cubic meter of concrete. But Ali wants to produce a total of 6 cubic meters of cellular lightweight concrete, so he multiplies the 80 seconds times the desired quantity of cubic meters. In his case, it will take 480 seconds. He enters the desired dosage time in the input field on the display. The F3 button is used to increase the seconds. With the F4 button, Ali can reduce them. Now things can get going. Ali connects the hose for the foam dosage to the injection lance and hooks it inside the truck mixer. Then he presses the F1 button on the control panel. The foam is dosed directly into the mixer via the injection lance and mixed in. The mixer should run at medium mix speed and mix the foam in thoroughly until a homogeneous texture is reached. Once the set time has elapsed, the Sumo switches off automatically. If something unexpected occurs, the dosing process can be interrupted at any time by pressing the F1 button. To resume the dosing process, the F1 button is pressed again. 
Ali has completed the first mixing process. Now he wants to produce additional batches. To repeat dosing, he has to reset the timer by pressing the F2 button. Once the timer has been reset, the dosing process can be started again by pressing the F1 button. In the event of a change in the dosing quantity, Ali would have to change the dosing time by pressing the F3 or F4 buttons, then restart the sumo using the F1 button. Once the work is done, Ali gives the sumo a quick cleaning. To do this, he hangs the hose for the foam dosage in a 10-liter container with water. Then he presses the button combination Escape and the arrow button pointing upward. After 70 seconds, the cleaning program ends automatically and the sumo is ready for the next job. The sumo runs on three-phase current. If the phase is not set correctly, the message Error Phase B1 appears on the display. To adjust to the right phase, Ali uses a screwdriver to rotate the phase on the plug 180 degrees and sticks the plug into the socket. Now things can get going. Have lots of success producing foam.